wanted to give a quick review of these O'Neill shorty boots. So originally I got these shorties because um, I thought it would give me a little bit more flexibility being a shorter rider. Um, I thought, you know, not having all that extra cumbersome part of the boot might allow me to put my toe down easier. But that's not the case at all. Uh, they don't help. The only way you'd get help in that department is if you had a boot that was flexible um, in this direction. Which it's not. You can, can't even bend it. So in that aspect, these O'Neill shorties are nice and stiff. They offer some really good protection, minus the extra shin protection that you'd get if you had a higher boot. But um, I have smashed plenty of rocks with my toes, felt nothing. They work really good in that aspect. They're nice and stiff. I have been caught under the bike, my foot, um, and it offers some good protection that way. But in my honest opinion, I don't see any purpose to having a shorter boot. One negative aspect of this boot being short is that water gets in it easier. So if you had a, a taller boot, you uh, obviously have that much more room to put your foot into some water. These, you don't get that much room. So there's been plenty of rides where my foot has gotten soaked. Otherwise, probably wouldn't if I had the long boots. That brings me to the other negative. Because they're not that tall, uh, I have to wear extra shin pads and knee pads. So I got a shin pad knee pad combo. I did do a video about these before. These work pretty good. Um, so I think getting the shin pad knee pad combo kind of takes care of that issue. So there are ways around uh, the issue of shin protection. The worst thing that I encountered with these boots so far is probably the most dangerous part of it. Sometimes you gotta lean back, right? So what happens with these shorties, sometimes when I'm leaning back, they'll get caught like this on the passenger peg and I can't get the freaking boot out of it going back and forth going forward and it's it creates this really dangerous situation um, you can't go this way you can't go that way you can't go this way that way and you become stuck because your boot is stuck on the peg and um, eventually it will pop loose but if you're going fast and you gotta make a maneuver you don't want to be in that situation if you keep your passenger pegs on then you gotta be careful of that issue you get caught like this you can't get out and you get stuck it sucks overall I don't really see a need to have these shorty boots you might as well just get full size I believe they're like the same price anyways um, these are like the same price about a hundred bucks compared to the regular size O'Neill boots that are a hundred bucks uh, so that's all I got I just wanted to give it my quick review of these boots I've been using them all season here in uh, Massachusetts they have broken in pretty well um, at first they were ultra stiff and obviously you gotta just break them in a little bit um, so I pretty I broke them in pretty well and they're still relatively stiff so that's a good thing uh, you don't want them and I don't, you don't want them to get all loose. So they maintain enough stiffness for protection, and uh, but they got broken in enough where I could switch gears easy and they're comfortable. So, all right, that's all I got for these boots. You guys take care. See you on the next one.